It was just how deadly they were in the, in the, uh, in the entirety. It wasn't that we had more than, than normal. 550 direct fatalities, an odd thing there in, in red that often we see the fatalities, the big percentages are in mobile homes or people in, in cars. It was destroying permanent buildings in 2011 and businesses uh, that, that were taking us sort of back to the, those Stone Age years as I was talking about. The three deadliest tornadoes in the U.S. since 1957 all occurred in, the, in the 2011, the Joplin, and then two tornadoes in Alabama in the April 27th outbreak. The, the month of April as a whole, I just went down the list there by calendar day, there's 14 days there that each of which had 10 or more tornadoes on them. So about half of the days had at least what I would call a small outbreak with 20 tornadoes, and a bunch of those had big outbreaks with, with 20 or more tornadoes, the, the grand finale almost, the 27th, 28th there, with, with well over 200 tornadoes. Through the 30th of June, the year to date at that point, had smashed the old record of the number of tornadoes for the year. And uh, uh, the largest tornado outbreak on record of any outbreak in the U.S. with 293 or about that on the 26th through the 28th, 1,008. 181 tornado warnings for the country in April. That's a lot of warnings. Just a preliminary map of some of that 2011 super outbreak. It was mostly down in the Gulf Coast states. Mississippi, Alabama, Tennessee, Georgia worked its way then into the nighttime hours up into some of the Virginia and even in the, up into Pennsylvania uh, area. Uh, a number of EF5 tornadoes there, Smithfield, Mississippi, and Philadelphia, Mississippi, Hackleburg, Alabama, uh, Rainsville, Alabama. The, the one that got the most notoriety was a rated four that went through the Tuscaloosa and Birmingham areas. Uh, so very, very devastating. Fortunately, most of these tornadoes were daytime, or perhaps the fatality toll would have been even worse uh, because the fatality rates tend to go up when the tornadoes hit at night. Over 200, close to 300 tornadoes, 316 fatalities in that outbreak, the most for any uh, outbreak since 1925 when a big tri-state tornado and a few others went through Missouri, Illinois, Indiana. 2,600 plus miles of path, huge wide tornadoes. So they were big tornadoes, long-lived tornadoes, wide path tornadoes that uh, hit a lot of places over 18 states and, uh, and caused a lot of damage. So we had a lot of strong and violent tornadoes that led to the, the death toll and they, they struck populated areas. Uh, most of these rated four and five tornadoes that we had in any year since 1974 when we had the first of what we call these super, super outbreaks. Debris balls, I'll show a lot of those, the little the balls of intense debris on radar and a good part of the talk will, will focus on that and, and what they mean, and including the, the Springfield, Massachusetts uh, tornado. So here in the uh, left there is the debris ball. You see the purple core here in the color scheme. Most of the body of the storm, it's a supercell thunderstorm. The whole thunderstorm tends to rotate counterclockwise and spirals its precipitation pattern into this, what is usually called the hook echo. But then even here, a purple dot, the most intense return of all, is not hail, it's from debris being tossed up as the tornado is going over the portion of Tuscaloosa, Alabama. Here in a, I've taken a slice through and just highlighted uh, the, the strongest return. And so as you go up in height, the, uh, it's sort of a, the cone of the funnel itself emanating up is a little bit of a gap where the radar doesn't see right down near the ground, but then extending up. 10 or 15,000 feet aloft, you're seeing basically the radar depiction of the tornado and the debris being carried up in that. So I tend to call that a debris ball or uh, technically a tornado debris signature. And now, so that when we see those, and I saw so many of those in 2011, that gives us a little bit more confidence that a destructive tornado is in progress. And now we have the new dual pole uh, data that gives us yet a little bit more familiarity. So as that tornado came into Tuscaloosa and began to intensify, it started out as being a little bit rain-wrapped. 
the uh, tornado is here with the rain curtains out surrounding it, probably making the, the debris ball a little bit bigger, or that ball a little bit bigger than what was totally debris. A couple of our Weather Channel Storm Riders team uh, were chasing in Alabama because this had been a pretty well anticipated tornado outbreak. Uh, this then took Tuscaloosa, Alabama, this is pretty much the exact same areas uh, before and after. And uh, so here you see the parking lot and a building just to the north of that. Here is that parking lot and there is just uh, the, the foundation with uh, pieces of it that have been cast off to the northeast. So that one, for example, was rated uh, enhanced Vegeta scale 4. Uh, you can go 